Even with the on-demand economy, you click a button, a car shows up. Sometimes that can be dehumanizing to the workers too, right? We've built all these products and, and services for these top one percenters living in uh, urban centers like San Francisco and New York, and the point is almost minimize human connection. Hit a button, leave the package there, go away, don't bother me, you know? It's almost like factoring out human connection. And so if technology 1.0 is all about this drive towards more convenience, less friction, it's created this abundance reality we have, which I think is making us very unhappy because now we have more content that you consume in a lifetime, more games than any one person could ever play, more calories than anyone could rightfully or healthily consume in a day. You know, all this stuff that is available to us now, this abundance of choices, which actually creates a lot of stress because our brains still have the neural programming of when we are running around the steppes of Africa and, and, and just trying to survive in a threat-filled scarcity environment. That's why our tongues seek calorie-dense foods. Our eyes are looking for novelty. Our minds are always looking for simple heuristic causal narratives. We're looking for anything that gives us an edge for procreation. That almost explains any human's behavior in any one moment. Does this help me procreate? Don't get eaten, eat and pass on my genes, right? And so we've got that scarcity mindset, but now it's living in this like huge abundance filled, you know, choice cornucopia. And the two don't mesh. That impedance mismatch is driving us literally crazy. We're literally battling our biology and our neural programming to, to get through each day. Hence, we need things like fasting and we need tech Shabbats and we need, you know, anti-tech addiction and we, have, we need more mindfulness because we're basically trying to curb our impulses in this sort of candy store of infinite choices, right? I feel like modern people, it's like you're, it, it's like you're, you're a crack addict and you've been handed a crack pipe with infinite supply and say, okay, self-regulate, right? <laughs> so maybe Tech 2.0 is about helping us manage those impulses and become better people, the people we want to be, you know, starting with more connection with ourselves and each other, but also maybe limiting some of these impulses, maybe reducing choice, maybe reducing the need for so much willpower, maybe even, you know, reducing friction and convenience, you know. People think I'm nuts when I say that, mm. but I wonder if the next act of technology is introducing more helpful friction, more intentional, you know, inconvenience to make us more reconnected with ourselves, with supply chain, with each other, with mother nature, with where things come from, you know? Because, you know, isn't that that saying you really care about what you have to work for, right? And, um, I was talking to Tom Chi the other day, you know, at, uh, he came from Google X, and he had this really great point that we're living in an age where everything is so well curated, you know, events and settings and whatnot, and it's all made for Instagram ability, right? So it looks all great, but combine that with convenience is all about, it looks great and I didn't have to do anything for it. But I worry that that creates this sugar-coated surface that it doesn't have meaning, you know? So I, I, sometimes I go to events or, or festivals and everything's so well curated and I didn't have to lift a finger and it's all about like, ah, I got myself here, ch -ch -ch, right? And I forget I've even been there after a month. As opposed to when you really have to work at something, when you have to sink blood, sweat, and tears into it, that investment creates this emotional true connection with it, creates meaning, creates purpose. And so I'm wondering if that's what we've siphoned out of a lot of our experiences is that investment, that work that we have to put into something to derive that meaning and purpose, which flies in the face of instant gratification, convenience.